My favorite go-to cocktail is a cocktail that I created based on my love for my father. Uh -huh. And his name was Morton Meyer. And his favorite drink was the classic drink, the Negroni. But what I don't like is vermouth, like my dad did. Right. So I came up with an idea that I would name a drink the Mortoni. Sounds an awful oh. like like martini. And, and you're using oh, tonic. Okay. And in, right, so instead of using vermouth, we refresh it with some tonic. Okay. And I'd like to show you how to do it. Yeah, I'd love to know. All right, so the first thing that, that we're going to do is load up our glasses with ice. And you could do this if, if you're a martini drinker and you like your martini straight up. You could use a martini glass instead of the cocktail glass. I have a martini shaker, a silver one that's this tall. I can make 14 martinis at one time. And it works really well. I, I found it at a at a tag sale. A beautiful silver, this tall, 14. I'd like to be invited for <laughs> yes. one of those sometime. <laughs> it uses up a whole bottle of vodka. So now... Really? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it holds that much vodka. All right, okay. so now we're gonna we're gonna load some ice into oh, our into, okay, into our a, shakers. Oh, so, right oh here. so you're chilling the glass. I'm chilling the now, glass now, but it's these attentions to detail. You must must pay attention. To chill your glass. I also think chill that the shaker. One of the details that you really want to pay attention to is the quality of the ice in your home, and most of us now have a refrigerator that has the automatic. Yeah. It doesn't really make good ice. It's convenient for a glass of water. What's wrong with it? Because the ice has so much air in it, and oh. it melts very, so you want very this quickly. Little ice? The the more solid your ice, the better, because it doesn't melt as quickly in the drink, oh, and then okay. you don't dilute the so good stuff it, you put in. Is this full of air? This is uh, B plus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to take an ounce of vodka. Okay. So and it's good to have a jigger on hand. The if same you way like you like to measure. I don't like to measure. <laughs> Because to me, this is not baking. Baking is an exact science. Drinking is inexact. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to pour an ounce of Campari. So oh, a equal whole ounce, amounts, one to one. Equal oh. amounts of that. And okay. we're going to now shake it up in here. And you notice that I put the, this part on first because I don't oh. want to create an air seal, which will make it impossible to reopen. Oh, I see. Put the top on. Let's shake it in back of us like that. Now do you take over your head? Yeah. Well, right over your shoulder. Any way so you right want to go. Right over your shoulder. That's good oh, enough. Oh, like Tom Cruise, right? Oh, There's look a, how pretty. It's very, very pretty. You get a nice light orange. And now we're just going to top it with our Q tonic. Okay, so is, this is very a superior tonic water. Well, everything in life could be made a little bit better, including okay. tonic water. And what oh. these guys do at Q tonic, they use Peruvian quinine but they also use agave instead of fructose corn syrup. Excellent. So that's what we use better. at Gramercy Tavern. Better. Now, lime, lemon, orange, Whatever or Whatever your favorite citrus is. Oh. I would pick one, but if you like to do oh. more than one. I like orange and I like lime orange together. Too. Okay. And you drop it in? You squeeze it, drop it in, okay. and now let's take a little taste. Yum. I think you're going to like this. This is a pretty, a uh, Mortoni. A Mortoni oh. after my dad, Morton To Meyer. dad.